Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me work upon the waters, wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be much stronger in the presence of my Savior. Upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail, and there I find you in the mysteries and oceans deep. My faith will stay. Spirit lead me, Spirit lead me, Spirit lead me, take me deeper, take me deeper, take me deeper, into you.
Good evening, good evening, good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for Tool Up Tuesday Takeover. Come on, y'all. Let's hit it in the chat, hit it in the chat for me, hit it in the chat. Let us know you are here, you're here, you're here. Thank you so much, y'all. Remember to hit that share button, hit the share button, let the word get out. We are live. We are live. I should have done this before we got on. I am here and we are live. We're live, we're live. I'm trying to make sure I do it. Let's get ready to get into our... Um, Let's go ahead and get ready to get into our announcements. Our announcements. Our announcements. A couple of things. This Sunday, this Sunday, plan to join us in the room. Uh, we're in our comeback series. Talking about how to come back from different things. How things that kind of catches us um, unaware and catches us off guard. We want to make sure that we are, are understand what's happening and how it's happening and what's going on. How do I not let this thing take me out, Pastor? And that's what we're going to be talking about this entire month. How do I act when I hit rock bottom? How do I act when I'm down? How do I come back? So that's what we're going to be talking about all month long, all month long. What else is happening this month, Pastor? Well, Sunday at 3 p.m., Sunday at 3 p.m., we are the special guests at the Mount Moriah Temple of Deliverance Praise Center. I'm asking Lottie, Dottie, and everybody, join us this Sunday at 3 p.m. Uh, join us this uh, at 10 a.m., but also join us at 3 p.m. for a word from God, a word from God this Sunday at 3 p.m. Uh, we're going to Baytown. Got a word, got a word at Baytown at 3 p.m. So plan to join us. Uh, also, the Women's Conference, if you have not already, if you have not already, if you have not already, please, sir, please, ma'am, go ahead and register for that event. Register for the Women's Conference. It's an amazing conference. They have so many uh, great things going on in the Women's Conference. They have special guests that'll be here. <coughs> that'll be happening. I'm asking everybody, come on, y'all. Let's get the word out. Uh, get your women, get get the people that you know that you have influence with to be a part of this day uh, that we're going to be having a great time in God, with God's people uh, on at our women's conference. The, the information has been shared in the chat. If you have not already, please get a part, uh, get, your, get your ticket, uh, clear your schedule, to be a part of the Women's Conference. Family and Friends Day is the last Sunday in this month, last Sunday in this month, April the 28th at uh, 10 a.m. I'm asking everybody, make plans to join us this Sunday, uh, that Sunday at 10 a.m. for Family and Friends. They invite your family, invite your friends. The person with the most guests will be getting a prize. Uh, we believe that evangelism is every Sunday, every day is a lifestyle but we also believe that this is the day that we take a moment out to celebrate those that we have influence with bringing them to the house of god and letting them celebrate with us on that day uh last but not least may the 4th at uh 10 a.m saturday may the 4th which is the first saturday saturday before the first sunday in may make plans to join us uh in the room uh for Make plans to join us for the upper room. We're going to be pouring out ministry, vision, uh, ministry, your purpose. I promise you, you don't want to miss what's going to be happening. So let's get into tonight's lesson. We're going to be talking about how to pray from rock bottom. <clears throat> Anybody besides me ever been at rock bottom? Anybody besides me has had a situation where you felt like you were at rock bottom? Like, man, it's just a lot happening. It's just always something. And so Tonight we're gonna to talk about how to how to, how to how to act when we are at rock bottom. How to how to, how to act when we're at rock bottom. So let's let's get into that tonight. This scripture scripture is coming from Psalms three Psalms three verse seven and verse eight. Arise, Lord, uh, deliver me, my God. Strike all of my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessings be on your people. This is at the end of the of, of Psalms 3. Psalms 3 is an amazing uh, uh, written uh, psalm. It, it is it is so it's so amazingly written because what he's literally talking about in the psalm is uh, God, I need you to come in and, and shift some stuff around. 
God, I need you to shift some things around. God, God, my enemies have come upon me. My, 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 my foes, my, 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 the people that should have my back. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Anybody besides me have had to pray some prayers and say, God, the people that I thought had my back have tried to stab me in it. Let's let's read that. I wish I could put it on the screen. Uh, let me let me try to do it like this. Let me try to do it like this for a second. Uh, uh, Psalms three. Psalms 3 says, uh, Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise against me. Many uh, there, uh, there be which my saith of my soul. There is no help for him in God. Salah. Uh, but thou, O Lord, art shield for me my glory and the lifter of mine head. Come on, y'all. Verse four says this. Let's get it on the screen. Verse four says, uh, I cried unto the Lord with my loud voice, with my voice, uh, and he heard me out of the holy hill. I, I, laid, uh, I laid me down to sleep and I awakened for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of the 10,000s of people that have set themselves round about me. That's verse six. Let's go to verse seven. I believe verse seven is where we started. I was, I will not be afraid of the 10,000 that's around me. Verse seven, oh, arise, Lord, deliver me. Y'all see it? My God, strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. For the Lord comes deliverance. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessings be on your people. Y'all, why is this such an amazing prayer to be prayed? Because when the man of God was in his worst moment, he said and had a true confessional prayer to God. Pastor, what are you trying to tell us? First of all, some of us don't know what it's like to hit rock bottom. Some of us know what it's like to have a bad day. Some of us know what it's like to go through some stuff. But some of us don't understand what it's really like to hit rock bottom. When you hit real rock bottom, you understand that there's some things that 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 it's it, it, that that hope is hard at rock bottom. Oh, I need y'all hear me tonight. Hope is hard at rock bottom. Um, that, that, that worry is a lifestyle at rock bottom. Um, uh, uh, companionship gets tricky at rock bottom. Watch this, y'all. That when you're at rock bottom, you have to understand that most of us uh, don't understand. You have to understand that at rock bottom, most of us have grown and developed uh unhealthy coping mechanisms to stay at rock bottom. It's not about whether you're happy or not, sad or not, frustrated or not, but the truth of the matter is, is that some of us can say, I've cried my last tear, but it did not change my situation. I worried, but it did not shift what I was dealing with. I've cried, but it did not change anything. I've, I've had a lot of stuff going on, but it did not take away from what I was really dealing with. Some of us that's watching me can honestly say that no matter what I've been dealing with, it seems like God has visited me at rock bottom. Brother Greenhouse, it's good to see you, man. We miss you too, man. I appreciate you for stopping by. And some of us don't understand that rock bottom can really be a lifestyle. Woo! That, that the enemy comes up and tries to attack, harm, destroy your life, and you have to lift up a standard. David says this in this text. He says, arise, Lord, deliver me. Because when you've had a relationship with God, your life should not ever settle for rock bottom. Come on, I need y'all to put it in, in the chat for me tonight. Don't settle, don't settle, don't settle, don't settle. 
Don't settle for where you are. Don't settle for what you're going through. Don't settle for, for, for less than. Don't settle that, 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 that the best of your life is behind you. Don't settle for what you're what 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 people have thought and made you feel like. Don't settle for 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 just enough to get by. Just put that in the chat for me tonight. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to stay here. I'm not not going. Don't settle. No, I'm not. I, I cannot stay here. I can't stay in the place. Arise. Get up. I need God. I need you to move. I need you to shift this thing. I need I need you to make a way out of nowhere. I. How do you pray at rock bottom? Three things. I'm gonna get out of your way. First thing you have to do is state your position. You watch this. Arise, y'all. Y'all don't hear me. Deliver me. Arise, God, get up. God, I, I, if you let me wake up, you get up. Ah, y'all don't want to hear me. If if you've let me, if you have let me wake up in my situation, then it's time for you to get up in the situation. If if you've let me wake up and the situation is still the same, then you need to move. God, it's time for you to move. Y'all don't want to hear me. Anybody besides me have had to state your position. God, I need you to do this thing. I need you to do this thing right now. I, I don't need you. Not another minute, not an hour, not a day. That Come on, y'all, they used to have a song. I need thee. Oh, I need. No matter what you're dealing with, what you're going through, what, you, what you're struggling with, you got to state your position. Arise, Lord. God, I need you to get up. I'm, I'm, if I'm up, you up. I can't settle. I can't. Come here, somebody. I, I didn't come to die here. I, I, I. I've I fought too hard. I, I've battled too long. I, I've gone through too, y'all don't want to hear me tonight. I've gone through too much hell to stay in hell. I can't stay here. Arise, God. Arise, keeper of my soul. Arise, the master of the sea. Arise, y'all don't want to hear me. Anybody just had to tell God, I, I need you. I need to see you do something. I need to see you change something. I need to see you. I, I don't, I, I don't, I've sensed you. I've, I've prayed to you. I've talked to you, but I need to see you get up. Woo. Y'all don't want to talk to me tonight. Y'all don't want to talk to me. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. State your position. Watch this. You have to know where you are. Watch this. He didn't just say arise, but he knew who to talk to. You have to know whose you are. Watch this, y'all. You you have to know where you are. I'm I'm not I'm 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 at rock bottom. You got to know whose you are. The Lord's. Watch this. He's the overseer. He is the the keeper. He is the ruler. It is his thing. So God, you cannot. You should not, you do not need to leave me where you are, where I'm at. God, I, I believe it's time for us to go. <laughs> you don't have to stay in the shape you're in. The power wants to put you back. Y'all don't want to talk to me. No, who's you are? No, this isn't, this isn't normal. How can you love me and want me to stay like this? What is it you're trying to teach me? What is it you want me to know? How is it that you want me to, what what lessons and instructions and dilemmas do you want me to get out of? I, I understand that I've messed up. I understand that I've done some wrong. I understand that I've laid it out the wrong way, but I, I need you to walk me through this thing the right way. Y'all don't want to hear me. State your position. I'm, 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 I'm coming out of this. I don't know. Yeah, you 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 stay. I'm coming out. I, you 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 get comfortable. I'm coming out. You 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 get you 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 lay up in this thing. I'm I'm coming out of this. I, yeah, I, I can't I can't stay depressed this long. It it starts weighing on me. I don't like the way it feels. I, I, see, sometimes you have to declare your situation. Mm. You have to declare where you desire to be. All right, y'all don't want to hear me. State your position. The second thing you have to do is state your petition. Ooh, ooh. Know what you want from him. 
I'm sick of praying saints that ain't got nothing to pray about. He says, deliver me, my God. Watch this. But this is how I want you to do it. Strike all my enemies on the jar. Watch this. Break the teeth of the wicked. <laughs> Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jar. What does that mean? I don't want you to just do it. But if you got time, I got some, I have a plan. Don't hit them in the chest, hit them in the jaw. Woo! God, I need you to break the jaw of my enemies. I, I Watch this, because I started saying that they were talking about me. But God, I want you to break the thing that they used to talk about me. Because they didn't know that I, y'all don't hear me. Because I need them to know who I am. Hmm. I need them to know who I'm connected to. State your petition. <laughs> What's your petition? God, do it for me. Y'all don't want to talk to me. I'm not staying here. I got a plan. I got a petition. I have an understanding. I have, I have, a, a, I have a, 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 a clear uh, rule of thought of what God, watch this. Y'all don't want to hear me. I, let me let me paint the picture as clearly as I can. Let me put it back on the screen. It says right here in the text, strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. Hit them on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. So when they get ready to talk about somebody else, I want them to remember me. They don't think about it before they handle somebody else crazy because they don't know who they connected to because they're going to learn about how they watch how you handle me. Watch, 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 watch how you talk to me. Watch how you watch how you because you don't know who I got. I got backup, baby. Let me get out of here. I got I got four minutes. State your petition. Watch this. First thing, state your position. Arise, O oh Lord. Deliver me. I need deliverance. Watch this. I'm not making this up. It's right here in the text. Arise, O oh Lord. Uh, deliver me, my God. Arise. Deliver me. State your position. I need deliverance because I will not settle to stay where I'm at. Second thing, you have to state your petition. Watch this. What does that literally mean? He literally says that they strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. God, I need you to go after them. Take them out. Put that in the chat. That, that sounds like a good one. Take them out. Let me put it myself because I, I got some stuff I need. Take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Don't I don't want them to, I don't want to play with them. I don't want to have fun with them no more. Take them out. Take them out. Take them out. You ain't got to kill them. Just take them out of my world. Y'all don't want to hit me. I don't, you ain't got to, you don't have to destroy them. Just take them out of my world. Or just take them off my radar. Take me off of theirs. Take, take, take them out, take them out, take them out. Take, take me off their radar. I don't, I don't even want to beep when they, when they come by. I, I don't, I don't, it's not that I want bad things to happen. I just don't want to be on the scene with them no more. Take them out, take them, take them out, take them out, take them out. Because some people, I need them to understand that God, I need them gone to get where you're going. I need y'all with me. State your petition. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Third final thing you have to do is state your praise. How do you pray from rock bottom? You have to state your praise. Where's that in the text? Right here, verse eight. From the Lord comes deliverance. Let's stop there for a second. From Let's stop there for a second. He says, verse seven, arise Lord, deliver me from my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. Let's go back to the second line. Deliver me, my God. Watch this. What he's literally saying is, I'm praying to the one that can do what I need done. Y'all missed it. I'm going to come back around a second time. I'm praying to the one that can do what I need done. I'm praying to the deliverer for deliverance. Pause, rewind, bring it back again. I'm praying to the deliverer for deliverance. I'm sick of people that talk to people all about their problems that can't provide the solution. He literally says this in the text. Dear Lord, deliver me. He says, God, deliver me, my God. God is the deliverer. 
Mm. And let me remind you, because some of y'all think because he hadn't done it, he's lost his position. He's still the deliverer. Somebody put still, still, still. S-T-I-L-L. He's still the deliverer. He's still the way maker. He's still the, ma the, the, the manifester. He's still the creator. He is still the one that can make a way out of nowhere. He's still God all by himself. He's still, still S-T-I-L. No matter what you think he is doing, he's still God. And because he's still the deliverer, even when I need deliverance, I'm thanking God that he didn't get fired in between me needing him to be what he was. And when I needed him to be it again, he was still it. Man, I just shouted myself. When I stopped needing deliverance, he didn't stop being a deliverer because he knew sooner or later I would need deliverance again. And he said, instead of me losing the position, I'm going to just stay deliverer. So when you need deliverance, I can be a deliverer again. Let me come back to verse 7 and 8 one more time. Deliver me, my God, from the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessings be on your people. Why do you state your praise? Because you have to communicate the praise to God because he's still God all by himself. Man, if this didn't help you, when you are at rock bottom, you have to remember that he's still God. I'm done. I'm done. That was it. I'm done. I'm done. Because I just I just got myself excited because I just got another principle about God in the middle of teaching this Bible study lesson that wasn't even in my notes. Because he's still all by himself. He's still God. He's still the way maker. He's still the miracle worker. He's still the 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 the, the water walker. He's still, y'all don't want to hear me. He's still the nature. He is the, the one that, that reigns, rules, and super rules and supersedes everything that other people say that, that cannot happen. He's still God all by him. So still. When you need him to be, he's still it. When you thought that he wasn't gonna show up, he's still it. What is he? I am that I am. Whatever you need, I am it, and I can be it because I am. My I, my my isness is the existence of whoever and whatever you need. How why would you pray at rock bottom? Because he's still God, the deliverer. My God, how majestic is your name. In all the earth, there is none like you. I feel a Michael Lord on me. That there is none like you. Y'all, I'm done. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We love you. We all you, God. We thank you for this day, these people, this time that, that we are here to share and worship your name. Father, we thank you for your people. We thank you for the clarity of the communication. We thank you for the peace and the, the, the joy that we in, enjoyed here. God, we thank you. And we give you all the praise and glory and the honor. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. I love you all. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and uh, we we sow tonight on Tuesday nights. We sow on Tuesday nights. So we give uh, we give freely. We give uh, consistently, but we give together. We give together. Let's let's sow tonight. Let's give tonight. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. See tonight. Everybody to give tonight. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. If you did not tithe, if this is your week to tithe, we ask that you do that today. If you need to give your tithe, please do so. Remember, man, this Sunday, this Sunday at 10 a.m., we're having a Sunday worship. I'm telling y'all, this word God has given me for Sunday worship has, I don't even know how to explain it to y'all. It's just, it's just crazy. Sunday, like Sunday is going to be, Sunday is going to be an amazing time of worship. So join us, plan to join us Sunday at 10 a.m. Let's, let's do it. Let's give tonight. Let's give tonight. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for praying last week. Remember this Sunday, 10 o'clock. Next, uh, this Sunday at 10 o'clock. This Sunday at 3, we'll be in Baytown. Be preaching out in Baytown this Sunday at 3. Uh, for Pastor uh, Bishop Thomas, uh, we're going to a uh, women's conference next week. Uh, after week after that is family and friends. That y'all, we have a, 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 a lot of events happening, but it's a lot of great events. A lot of great events. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Y'all know we go out with a praise. Don't forget to sow tonight. Don't forget to give. I appreciate you all. I love you all. See you all soon. Uh, see you all Sunday uh, during worship. Be blessed. Good night. From eternity, he said, If I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw, I'll draw.
This is it. 